It is day three of early voting and turnout remains high. The Board of Elections said nearly 21,000 more ballots were cast today for a three day total of nearly 49,000. At many polling places, there were still some very long lines, which is something the Erie County Board of Elections is working to address. Here's two on your sides, Jackie Roberts. According to the Erie County Board of Elections, Hamburg has consistently been one of the busiest locations, along with Amherst and followed closely by Cheektowaga. The county executive says he has no doubt that this will be one of the largest election turnouts in Erie County history, with many people voting early. It would not shock me when all is said and done if uh, one third or 40 percent of all Erie County voters have voted early. Uh, maybe more than 50% when you take in the absentee mail-in ballots. But more people at the polls means longer lines and wait times in many locations. We deployed all of our equipment. There is no equipment left. We've been redeploying some of the uh, equipment from areas in which uh, aren't as long to areas where there's exceedingly long lines. Uh, we've also uh, uh, sent uh, board employees out to assist the inspectors and uh, we're just hopping from one location to the other. Registered Erie County voters can cast their ballots at any of the 37 designated early voting locations, and the process may be quicker in some spots. Well, you might be waiting in line depending where you go. I mean, if I had driven out with my team to uh, the southern part of Erie County, I, I'm fairly confident if we went to Sardinia or uh, Collins, it probably would have been a shorter wait. A spokesperson with the Board of Elections says Brant and Sardinia have been more moderate. On day one of early voting, the North Collins Town Supervisor even encouraged voters to come out that way. Why stand in the line when you come on down here and, and cast your vote and see some beautiful uh, countryside? Early voting goes until November 1st. For more information on times and locations, head over to our website, WGRZ.com. In Hamburg, Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.